Hello everybody, my name is Ulrich and welcome to this week's episode of Docker Donnerstag. To get the formalities out of the way real quick, if you would like to submit your own idea for an upcoming Docker Donnerstag or Dodo for short, please get to us on Twitter or leave a comment down below on our YouTube page. For this week's episode, we are uh, using NetBeans and Docker to create a Java Spring application. If you haven't watched our last episode of Docker Donnerstag, there we are explaining the foundation of NetBeans and Docker. So without further ado, let's get started. So we start our NetBeans application and to have the Docker integration inside NetBeans, you still need the nightly build of NetBeans. You cannot use the 8.1 version. So we're using the current nightly build. Our first step is to install a plugin for the integration of Spring. Uh, and what we do is we go to GitHub and download the uh, Spring Boot plugin from Alex. Uh, and I will link the plugin in the description down below. For installing the plugin, our next step is to create a new project. Uh, under the Maven folder, you find the Spring components and we use the Spring initializer. And we leave everything as it is. Uh, um, we are just creating a very simple Spring demo application. Just make sure the packaging is a jar and not a wall. And for the components is we use the web component and everything else is unchecked. So now we need to give the project a name. In our case, we use do, do spring example. And we will actually add everything else so that we get a full running project. So this will create uh, our Maven project. And after the project is initialized, we can actually start using it. So if you have a look, there is our, our demo file for our Java Spring application. So what we do now is we say we want a new REST controller. If you don't have the REST controller uh, directly in your uh, menu here, you can go to others and to the Spring MVC. Uh, category and you can use the rest controller over here. We just leave it at new rest controller for this demo and hit the finish button. And what it will do is it will actually populate the whole page with a simpler rest controller uh, to start with. So we just simplify the whole class so that we can actually uh, have a very, very simple example. Let's remove everything and use a more hello world approach um, to this uh, method is get and we'll have uh, just a path match path uh, uh, equals uh, total for docker donna stack and what we will all return is just a simple string and we will say hello do do and we will return as in, a, in our previous example, hello docker donna stack. Just fix the imports and now we can uh, execute the, the uh, Spring Boot project. And what we will do is we execute it and as you can see it, uh, it will build the project and actually uh, start the Tomcat server on port 8080 and we can now connect to our uh, uh, host. What we will do is uh, localhost, localhost 8080 and dodo for docker donna stack. And as you can see, the application is up and running and saying hello docker donna stack. So now we want to uh, stop the application. And what we do now is we create another docker file for our spring project. So we go back to files and hit the demo application and say we want to have a Docker file. And in our Docker file this time we use the uh, Java image. So we will now add a few commands. What we do is we use again the add command and the jar file that is created in our project and rename it to dodo jar. 
we expose port 8080 and we have an entry point that will actually execute our jar file. So we don't need the CMD command anymore. And remove this. And as we integrated our uh, Tomcat into the jar itself, um, we can just execute our Docker container. That's what we will do now. So save this and uh, we will hit Docker build. Uh, again, use our local Docker system. We will call it Oryx and uh, in this case, uh, Dodo Spring. Always the latest tag, pull everything down. And as you can see is uh, it will pull the Java uh, 8 image and it's much larger than the previous one based on Alpine Linux and it will download everything. And once this is completed, we will resume the video. Now the build is finished, as you can see right here, and we will now execute it. So as you can see over in our Docker images, we've got now the Java 8 image and we've got our um, Dodo Spring latest image and that we will execute now. So if we say run, we give it the name uh, Dodo Spring. We attach um, pseudo uh, terminal to it. And now we can actually say add exposed because we exposed the port 8080. We leave it as it is and we start the container. And now you can see the output and you can see that the Java Spring environment actually executes the, um, the Tomcat server and the Tomcat server is now listening on port 8080. And if we go to our page and we execute this again, and see that we get hello docker donnerstag again so our container is working so let's stop the container again and we go right over here up and now we will modify the maven file to make this much more convenient uh, in the build process we start by modifying our pom file or the maven build file we need to include a Docker Maven plugin, which we'll do right now. And you can see we're using the Docker Maven plugin from Spotify. And we need to specify the, the image name. The image name will be an image prefix. And I will include the prefix as well in the uh, properties part. And that's my Docker Hub account name so that it matches my Docker Hub and it will match the artifact ID. In this case, this will be demo. We will need a working directory for our Docker files. And I will just call Docker and we need to modify our Docker file later for it. And the next step is we need to have a target path. Um, I just removed everything and we just leave it blank and we copy. You can see we will include from our build directory, we will include directly our uh, jar file so we don't uh, we no longer need to specify the target directory inside our docker file so our next step is to change the docker file and remove the target path as our jar file will be in the same file as our docker file so what we need to create now is we create need to create our docker working folder which will be docker and we will copy the Docker file into our Docker folder. So what we need to do now is we need to add a custom goal. So we add uh, Lean Docker build. Oh, sorry, we need to add package clean package docker build and we will remember is as docker build and what you can see now is you can see the output of the build process you see that the no normal maven spring build process and at the end of the build process you can actually see that the uh, jar file is copied and what it does is actually it executes the docker build process and we finally created a docker image and you see the name is Oryx demo and if we go now to the services tag and there you can see Oryx demo latest and we can now run it 
and we say final demo execute this port bindings finish and what you can see is the docker container starts up and running and we have our daemon up and running on port 8080 and if we do a reload of this page as you can see we are getting hello docker donna stack so this is it for today and i hope you liked this episode if you do so please leave a comment down below and give us a thumbs up and see you next time